So you can tell we're approaching night time. I've put a little bit of a light in just to indicate that. And this is my PC clock. This is the real time where I am right now. And it's getting a little bit darker. So I'm going to change my PC clock and we'll progress it about two hours. And as you can see, it's just got a little bit more darker and it's got a bit of a purple haze. I've done that to simulate a sunset. So I'm actually going to go all the way to say almost 12 o'clock. And as you see, it's got really dark now. And let's simulate dusk around about seven. And as you can see, we've got a nice little orange glow to simulate the start of the day. And finally, 12 o'clock. And as you see, we can't see the light anymore. This is where the sun is highest in the sky. So this will simulate having day and night cycles. If it's day in your world, it'll be day in this world. So let's get into it. I'm going to continue from my last project. You don't need to, you start a new one. It's quite easy, it's not going to be much lines of code. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit of a light. I'm going to change the mode to mix, and I'm going to move the light into somewhere we can see it. Next, we're going to add a canvas modulate. And if we move the color around, you can see what happens to our screen. I'm going to change the canvas modulate to day cycle. We're going to add a script. We had exported gradient and it's going to be called col. Using this gradient, we'll be able to change the colors slowly over time so they don't just pop in. Next, I want to add in the process function. And you can see it's far here, it's called system time. And all we're going to do is get our system time using os.getTime. Now we need to convert that into a float variable. Here's called var time. Here's called var time value. I've made sure that it's a float. And what I'm doing is changing a string to a var. I then get the system clock. I will only want the hour and I want the minute. I want to connect them, not add them. Once that's done, this is then converted into a float. So it'll be anywhere between this number and 2,400. Now I need to work out the percentage of time passed. So to do that, we make sure that it's a float again. It's very important. If it's not a float, it won't work. We get our current time divided by 2,400, which will give us anywhere a range from zero to one which is perfect because our call interpolate only accepts zero to one. So one is 100%, zero is zero percent. Now this might not mean much right now, so I'm gonna explain it. If we go back to our scene, make sure day night cycle is selected. Here we have our exported variable. I'm gonna add in a new gradient, select that. And here you can see this is 0% and this is 1%. So you can imagine in the between is 0 0.5, which is actually 12 noon. So we want this to be daytime. What's really important is that the beginning and the end match. So I would do something like this. Make sure you remember these values, so 101. So make sure it's 101. So doing it this way is a little bit tricky because we are eyeballing it. It's really hard to understand it. So another issue you'd have is that six o'clock in winter is really dark, whereas six o'clock in summer is really light. So you could make a winter gradient. And then you could also have a summer variant, what you do is just check what month it is and load the appropriate gradient. So let's press play and make sure it's working. And as you can see, the sun's pretty much set now and it's almost nighttime. So we're around about here. I'll change my PC clock just to make sure it is working. Let's change it to almost 11 o'clock at night. And as you see, it gets dark. Just make sure dusk is working. As you can see, dusk is working. And finally, just make sure midday is working too. Perfect. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.